Well, obviously, everybody knows the street for DIY SOS, what they've done for us, but also for us veterans, it's our home now. It's it's just community. It's a family again. As soon as I turned the corner, I always remember the state that we found it in originally. This was in 2015, a almost derelict street. DIY SOS wanted to make a programme of converting three houses. Manchester City Council said they could actually use the whole street. The charity was Walking with the Wounded, who were set up to support ex-veterans of the armed forces. As a design discipline, architectural technology focuses on the user's needs. We needed to design homes that were suitable for their acquired injuries. So good design was imperative. My name's Simon Flores, uh, 43 Army veteran of the Royal Green Jacket slash Rifles. I'm a below knee amputee, um, so obviously I do get pains every now and then, you know, from standing. Before we moved on this street, it was very difficult for us because nobody understood our situations and what we were going through and what we have to try and overcome on our own. Chartered architectural technologies, we have the skills and the experience to take a problem and immediately come up with the solution. The BBC only had a 12-day programme to fit all this work in. We we'd estimated it was probably a 24-week construction period. To meet the programmes, we'd wrap it in a thermal skin rather than working from the inside so that the inside and out could be worked on at the same time. These houses were too narrow for wheelchair users, so we came up with the design solution of converting two houses into one. Rather than the staircases going across the middle of the house, we turned them to the side, which opened up the spaces and allowed us to create accessible bathrooms and kitchens. We decided that the rear extensions would be constructed as modular. They were brought to site in um, one single day and installed, which really accelerated the programme for them. My house is built for my needs. It's big, doors are wide. When I'm in my wheelchair, I can get through access, not a problem. It's just got them little hidden gems where it's not obvious, but I know it's there for my aid. A chartered architectural technologist is very design driven. We know the science behind the buildings, not just new build, but existing fabrics. Whereas normally you design the building and the product would fit the building, we had to do it the other way around because in the space of 12 days, we had over 3,000 volunteers. We turn up on site, see what materials have been donated. One day someone turned up with a passenger lift. We'd not designed for that. We had bathrooms delivered. We had to move walls. We had staircases that arrived that didn't meet the floor to floor heights. We'd know the solution around that. We knew how to negotiate with the other consultants quickly and also with the local authority to get permission to alter the design. It's given me a second chance. I'm able to do things I never could. And now I'm just free with the kids, obviously. <laughs> the design allowed for over 25 families to have new homes and new futures. It gave them hope, confidence. It's dealt with a lot of their physical and enduring mental issues and brought a unique environment. With the other veterans on this street, we can relate with each other and talk about our problems. You know, if someone's on their own, they can come round to the other guy's house and just sit and talk. It's great. <laughs> Every day is different. Every job is a challenge. I work with incredible people, clients, consultants, contractors. I couldn't think of a more challenging and rewarding profession to be in.